Welcome back to uh, Ultimate Toy Collector. Today we're not going to be reviewing any toys. Um, today we're going to talk about something that's been um, on the news and the media, uh, social network. Um, and I think it uh, kind of concerns any uh, toy collectors out there. Um, there's a Florida mom that started a petition um, to Toys R Us um, to get the Breaking Bad toys banned and removed from Toys R Us. Um, and as of, uh, I believe it was yesterday, uh, after a lot of media pressure, Toys R Us caved in and had these figures pulled. Um, you know, I, for myself, I don't care about the Mezco Breaking Bad uh, figures. I don't have any of them, um, but this is opening a Pandora's box for other uh, lines of figures. Um, if we allow this, then what's stopping uh, you know another mother or this same mother from thinking that uh, Star Wars is too violent? that the lightsabers need to be removed from the shelves and therefore take all the Star Wars stuff out, that there's fighting involved. Um, or that G.I. Joe shouldn't have a gun, uh, that she's scared her little son's gonna grab a gun and shoot somebody, so therefore take, take G.I. Joe's off the shelves. Um, or that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles do karate in the, in the shows and that uh, she's afraid her son's gonna emulate the karate and hurt somebody. Um, and then have those figures removed. Or just if you look at some of the classic figures um, that are out there in Toys R Us, um, you have Bruce Lee, uh, which is another karate type of figure, and you have um, the Knight Rider car, which was always blowing things up. Um, you know, I saw a clip of the Today Show um, where Hoda, um, from Kathy Lee and Hoda, uh, she said, um, and don't quote me because I'm not sure if she said that she saw it um, on in an article or that she herself saw it. Um, but what she said was she saw the break, she saw the Breaking Bad figures were in the same aisle as Thomas the Train and other uh, kid toys. That right there is wrong. Um, these figures are in their own aisle. Uh, Toys R Us has an aisle which is mostly for adult-oriented figures um, or for adult collectors. Uh, these aisles usually have um, most of like the NECA toys. Um, they have Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Gremlins, Robocop, South Park, Walking Dead, and other figures you know that are along the same line. Uh, the Breaking Bad uh, package clearly says that these figures are for ages 15 and up. They're not for little kids. So if you're there shopping for Thomas the Train, then your kid shouldn't be in that same aisle because they're two totally different aisles. Um, yes, it's in the same store, but it's totally different aisles. All right. Um, and one thing that she was complaining about was that the figure came with meth. I did a little research and looked online. Um, like I said, I've never brought any of these figures and opened them, so I wasn't sure. And um, yes, the figure comes with a bag of meth um, and it comes with a bag of money. But if you look at the front of the packaging, it's kind of hidden behind the uh, the cardboard. You can't see it unless you turn it to the side. So uh, yes, it, it is in there, um, but it's there as an accessory. Uh, it's not blatantly out in the open. Open. Um, the beakers are on one of the figures, but you know a beaker is a science, uh, you know, thing. Um, but you know, one thing I want to know is. Uh, this mother um, petitioned other chains um, that have other items that could be questionable or or could be considered offensive, uh, depending on how you look at it. All right, uh, let's take Fifty Shades of Grey. All right, the Fifty Shades of Grey books um, and numerous stores uh, are in the same section as the kids' books and magazines. Uh, because usually the book area is usually in the general area, um, no matter what store you, you go to. It's a general book area. So you have Fifty Shades of Grey here, and 
you have a coloring book here. Uh, so did the mom think about that? Um, or what about the Duck Dynasty uh, merchandise, um, which is in Walmart? that promotes hunting um which is all it's all over walmart you got the action figures you got you know hats and beards and everything like that it's promoting violence through hunting um or better yet how about uh the hunting sections in most walmarts which are pretty close to the toy aisles what's that promoting right there um does this mother believe that while her kid is shopping for a ninja turtle he's also going to want to shop for a rifle um, and let's see, while we're, while we're talking about other retailers and other chains, uh, even though this isn't a chain, what about Groupon? Uh, Groupon advertises kids' toys and clothing and other entertainment. Um, and then if you just scroll down, you know, maybe one or two drops, uh, right there, you'll see a double prong, the rabbit dildo, uh, you know, Groupon all of a sudden has exploded with all types of sex toys, but it also has kid stuff and it also has, uh, you know, uh, clothing and food and perfumes and TVs. Um, does she want to ban Groupon or does she want to censor them? Um, you know, my point being is you can't control everything. Um, you're responsible for raising your children and monitoring them. And I say this as a parent. Uh, if you don't want them to watch a certain movie or play with a certain video game or play with a certain toy, um, then put your foot down and say no. Don't be afraid to tell your kid no. It's that simple. Uh, so, you know, if your kid's wanting something, just simply tell them no. I don't, I don't see the problem with that. And... Uh, Let's see, what else? I'm just trying to think. Um, you know, if the mother didn't care for Breaking Bad, which actually I read in one article, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this mother said that she liked the show Breaking Bad. Um, she said it was groundbreaking, right? Um, but I'm just saying, if you don't like it, don't support the show, don't, don't support the merchandise. Um, that's your choice. Um, I, myself, can honestly say that I've never watched Breaking Bad. Um, I know the premise of the show, but I've never seen it. I've never watched a single episode of it. Um, another thing, most children, they want toys that they know. Uh, children will want toys from Disney movies, you know, Disney characters, cartoon characters, comics, um, you know, things along those lines. Uh, so my question to the Florida mom is, how does your kid know about the Breaking Bad figures? Uh, did your kid watch the show with you? Because um, if you did, if, if the kid watched the show Breaking Bad and knows who Brian Cranston's uh, um, character is, then shame on you because right then and there, you're not doing your job as a mother. Uh, so if your kid clearly knows who this, this uh, character is and clearly wants that action figure, then shame on you. Um, otherwise, most children... Uh, we'll look at the Mezco figures, the Breaking Bad figures, and they'll probably think they're pretty lame. They got no, uh, you know, shooting missiles. They got no bright colors. Um, you know, the accessories that come with them aren't really going to catch a, a children's eye. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, one thing I know is that this Florida mom has helped promote these figures. Um, like I said, I've gone to Toys R Us. And I've seen these figures on the shelf. I was never interested in them. I brought stuff that have been next to them, but never purchased these figures. Um, the day before these figures were pulled off the shelf, people went to Toys R Us just to simply purchase these figures. Um, and I'm pretty sure on the secondary market, like eBay, um, the value of these figures has gone up. Maybe it hasn't skyrocketed, but it's gone up a little bit. Um, you know, so right there, uh, Florida mom, you're actually making more money from Mezco because what would normally be a peg warmer is now a hot commodity. Um, and if, if they do get fully banned, um, uh, people are probably going to want some of these figures and the ones that are left around are going to be hard to get. So two thumbs up to you 
for helping these figures sell because otherwise they would just hang out on the shelves, they would be peg warmers, and in a couple months they would probably be on clearance, especially with the holidays coming up. Um, so I would just like to say that I support, there's a uh, counter petition out there um, to keep the Breaking Bad figures and other adult-oriented adult figures in the stores and on the shelves at Toys R Us and other retailers, because this is gonna spread from Toys R Us to other retailers. It's not gonna stop at Toys R Us. Um, so there's a counter petition. I'm going to leave the link uh, in the comment section on, uh, on this video. Um, I would like you guys to check it out. Uh, you know, this lady got on the news and made it very one-sided, and um, you know, Toys R Us caved in, but the good thing is that Toys R Us hasn't said that they are fully pulling these figures. It's uh, in, indefinite. Um, so they're, they're going to see what's going on with it. Um, so, you know, if you watch this video, I'm sorry if I'm rambling. Um, I'll try not to get involved in any of these other petitions, but this actually is close to my heart and it affects other collectors. Um, and I don't agree with what the Florida mom did. Um, so if you, if you agree with anything I said on this, please share this video, leave your comments in the comment section, um, and support the petition to keep these and other figures in stores. Um, if you don't, then who knows what else is going to get banned and pulled from the shelves. Uh, you know, like I said, this is just the beginning if this goes through and fully allows this mother to control the fact that she wants something off the shelves. Uh, again, control your children, raise your children, raise them how you want to raise them, um, and be stern and, you know, tell your children no. And if you don't want them to have something that's your prerogative, um, you know, you deal with it don't force things on everybody else uh, so like I said I'm gonna leave this link in the comment section um, please uh, leave comments uh, share the video um, subscribe to the video or subscribe to my page my YouTube page um, and I'm also actually I already posted it on my Facebook fan pages and group pages um, people have left comments on there so I'm sorry for rambling. Uh, thank you for watching this. This is just my opinion. Um, I, I, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other, other people share the same opinion. Um, you know, I don't mean to come down on this Florida mom. Again, that's her opinion. Um, but let's help keep these toys on the shelves. Um, and that's it. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Ultimate Toy Collector reviews. And I'll have uh, plenty of more reviews coming up. Uh, but for now, this is just my um, opinion on this Toys R Us Breaking Bad adult action figure collection uh, petition. All right. Uh, support the figures, support the counter petition, and uh, happy hunting until next time.